Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 28, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Don't be left behind. The six days after Christmas sale is in effect. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the already discounted sale price. Time is running out. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being today. Also, go check out my link below to the new Carrot Bar program and learn how you can be a part of my team and earn some free gold on the way. Be sure to follow me on both Facebook and Twitter as I am posting very important need-to-know information on those platforms throughout the day. All the links are in the description box below. I encourage you, stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest for today. Abdul Mahdi's office announces completion of all provisions of the federal budget law of 2020. On Saturday, the spokesperson for the office of the resigned Prime Minister, Saad al Hadithi, announced that all the provisions of the federal budget bill for 2020 have been completed since the beginning of last month. Al Hadithi said in a statement to information that the cabinet has completed all the provisions of the draft federal budget law for 2020, noting that the budget law of the cabinet has completed its study and discussion within the beginning of last month. He added that the Council of Ministers is unable to send the federal budget for 2020 to the House of Representatives due to a legal impediment, noting that the government is turning to the disposal of work to prevent it from sending the budget to the House of Representatives, since the government is in accordance with the law and the Constitution not entitled to send laws under these circumstances. And revealed the Parliamentary Finance Committee, earlier, the formation of the Council of Ministers a committee to study the draft federal budget law for 2020, while it indicated that the Council granted the committee the power to send the budget to the House of Representatives. Next article of interest. Political analyst. The President of the Republic has not announced his resignation, and reveals the reasons for his absence. Political analyst Issam al faili confirmed that the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, did not submit his resignation legally. al faili said for al Farid News that the message of the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, to the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Muhammad al Halbausi, and the head of the Supreme Judicial Council said, I am ready to put my resignation at the disposal of Parliament. And he did not announce his resignation legally. He added that the political blocs tried in various ways to pressure the President of the Republic to accept the construction candidate, noting that the President of the Republic did not present, and he is too strong to leave Iraq for the storm. In Article 71, Paragraph 7, the President of the Republic is held accountable by an absolute majority of the Parliament, and after that the file is referred to the federal court, he said noting that all indications confirm his stay in office. He continued, Saleh went to Suleimania and gave space to the political blocs to arrange their papers to resolve the crisis, referring to. al Fali Lee pointed out that the absence of the President of the Republic will complicate the crisis significantly. Next article of interest. A deputy for other leaders calls on the political blocs to give Saleh the opportunity to choose an independent prime minister. Today, Saturday, the MP from the Sa'aran Badr al Ziadi bloc called on the political blocs to give the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, the opportunity to choose an independent prime minister. al Ziadi said, in a press statement, I call on the political blocs to show wisdom and give the President of the Republic an opportunity to choose an independent figure for the Prime Minister and pressure toward a specific name as a result of burning Iraq and dragging into the unknown. Is over. Next article of interest. Choose a Prime Minister. Saleh returns, construction nominates, and deputies propose. Turns attention to the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, who returned to the capital. Baghdad, after spending three days in Suleimania after he refused to assign the Building Alliance candidate as Ad al Idoni to form the next government and wave him to resign. And political sources speaking to Mawazin News reported that Saleh returned to Baghdad this morning 
and will continue his normal work, in addition to holding consultations with the political blocs on the next government candidate. She added, the Construction Alliance tends to nominate new personalities in place of Ali Downey for the post of Prime Minister, as a proposal for a retired military figure began. The sources pointed out, there are a number of personalities, including the retired team, Abdul Ghani al-Assadi, who can be nominated to head the next government, which is expected to be temporary. Representatives suggested the continuation of the caretaker government headed by Adel Abdel Mahdi until early parliamentary elections are held, but this procedure requires a period of time that may reach one year until the preparations for its completion are completed. The deputies say this solution is to end the ongoing political tensions between the building alliance, which insists that it is the largest bloc and is responsible for the nomination of the next prime minister and president of the republic who refuses to assign the candidate because it conflicts with the demands of the demonstrators. A member of the House of Representatives, Hamid al-Musawi, suggested that the new prime minister be chosen in an open session that would be broadcasted directly to the Iraqis, indicating that his proposal would make the parliament part of the solution, not part of the problem. To the members of the House of Representatives, there is a practical vision and a roadmap that he proposed and in order to leave the polemics and political debates to become part of the solution and not part of the problem, especially after all powers have reached a dead end awaiting a solution, Mao Sawi, a deputy from the Construction Alliance, said in his message. It may open the way for external interference and impose wills that do not interest Iraq and its reformist battle, on the pretext of our inability as Iraqis to solve our problems. I have a proposal that I hope will enjoy the support of the deputies and political forces, and it is as follows. Since there is a commitment by two parties in Parliament who are adhering to the fact that they are the largest bloc and do not want to give up this right, so I suggest that the largest bloc be retained, that is, its right as a larger bloc and so that it is not overridden the Constitution becomes a constitutional heresy. He explained. The largest bloc authorizes the parliament or its president to choose a national figure that enjoys the approval of the people according to a simple and satisfactory mechanism for everyone, which is that the representatives, blocs, or even the squares submit their candidates to a representative committee for the governmental program monitoring committee, for example. He noted, in an open session, it is transmitted directly to the people and each person presents his program and his vision is to manage the next stage and meet the demands of the people and ask them questions from the deputies and the people, after which the best of them is chosen and who can convince the largest number of deputies after that is named, to the President of the Republic through the largest bloc therefore, we scored more than one order. The first is that we remove the political scene, political blocs and the presidency of the republic from the dilemma of the constitutional violation, and parliament becomes part of the solution, not part of the problem. And, secondly, secondly, the confidence of the world, the authority and the people will be restored with its representatives and its legislative institution, which paid the price for the sins and mistakes of the politicians, especially if the session to choose the best from the candidates is transferred directly and through a civilized democratic exercise, we will win the respect of the world and our people. al we concluded his statement by saying, Thirdly, we will give a message to deputies that we are not prisoners of consensuses and agreements and the leaders of the blocs and change the offensive image that was drawn in the minds of Iraqis about a member of parliament. Fourthly, that the above proposal is creative and has no constitutional violation and its mechanism is easy and simple. Next article of interest. The affirmed that she is seeking all roads to accomplish it as soon as possible. Parliamentary Finance. The 2020 budget cannot be passed unless we tackle the deficit issue. Head of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Haytham al Jubari, confirmed yesterday, Saturday that the deficit in the budget for the next year amounts to 48 trillion dinars, which is a realistic and unfunded deficit, and while the committee confirmed a serious pursuit of all roads to complete the budget for the next year if it reaches the the deputies have indicated that the current caretaker government cannot send the budget to parliament. 
al Jubari said in a press interview followed by al Zara uh, that the financial management amendment, for which the reading has been completed, aims to rotate the amounts allocated to the governorates in the next budget to be a mechanism and a rule followed by all upcoming budgets in order to continue providing services in case the budget is not approved for any reason. Al Jubari pointed out that the budget for the next year up to the moment suffers from a very large deficit of 48 trillion dinars. We have no cover to finance all of the deficits, he said. He explained that 25 trillion dinars of the deficit can be addressed, but the other 23 trillion do not have any money to cover it, and this is the problem that caused the government not to send the budget to parliament. He added that the deficit is a realistic and unfunded deficit, and if you do not think about the sources of funding, we cannot pass the budget in this way. The decision of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Ahmed Al Safar, confirmed last Wednesday that the size of the deficit expected in the budget for next year will reach 48 trillion dinars, making it the largest in the history of Iraqi budgets ruling out the possibility of sending the current government to the budget as a caretaker government. For his part, the member of the committee, Rep. Thamer Dibin, said in a press statement that Al Zora followed that the political differences regarding the nomination of the next prime minister have greatly affected the delay in approving the budget for the next year, because the current government is a caretaker government and cannot send it to the parliament. Dibin added, the committee hopes that the political blocs will reach a solution to the crisis of naming the next prime minister for the purpose of approving the budget, because any delay will harm the national economy, delay the completion of projects of ministries and government institutions, as well as delay recruitment procedures and start public projects that will clearly reduce the proportions the unemployment. He pointed out that the committee is making a serious endeavor and has taken all means to complete the budget and as quickly as possible in the event it reaches Parliament, expected to be accomplished within the next month because of the serious intentions of the political blocs to resolve the issue of the Prime Minister and his next cabinet cabinet. Next article of interest. Pompeo is making a lightning visit to a military base in Iraq. Pompeo's visit comes after the key one attack, AFP. Pompeo is making a lightning visit to a military base in Iraq. A source in the Iraqi Defense Ministry told Anatolia that U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo made a lightning visit to a military base west of the country on Saturday. The source added, an officer with the rank of Colonel, to Anatolia, that Pompeo briefly visited the Ain al Sadr base in Anbar province, west, where American soldiers are stationed. Pompeo met with U.S. military commanders in Iraq, but it was not clear what was discussed, said the source, who asked not to be named because he was not authorized to speak to the media. Pompeo's visit comes a day after an American civilian contractor was killed and U.S. and Iraqi soldiers were wounded during a missile attack on the K-1 base near the northern city of Kirkuk. Finally, rocket attacks have been repeated targeting military bases hosting American soldiers and diplomats in Iraq. American officials point fingers at Iran through its proxies from the Iraqi factions that finance an arm Iran, which the latter denies. The United States had recently threatened a decisive response if Iran or its proxies attacked American forces or its allies in the region. Tensions are running high between Washington and Tehran, two allies of Baghdad amid fears that Iraq will turn into a battleground between the two countries. A and D deploy about 5,000 American soldiers in several military bases throughout Iraq within the framework of the international coalition to fight the terrorist organization, ISIS. Next article of interest. State of America, Khamenei's regime fears its citizens. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that Iran's hardline cleric, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, feared his own citizens, stressing that Khomeini had killed 1,500 Iranians, in reference to the suppression of popular protests that began in mid-November due to the increase in gasoline prices. Pompeo said in a tweet on his official account on Twitter that the Iranian people have the right to mourn the 1,500 victims who were massacred by Khomeini during Iran's protests. 
the regime fears its citizens, and has again resorted to violence and the shutdown of the Internet. The sudden rise in gasoline prices in Iran has led to large gatherings in many Iranian cities that have been severely suppressed by the security forces, while Amnesty International has said that more than 304 people have been killed in recent protests. But last week, Reuters news agency quoted Iranian government sources as saying that 1,500 people were killed during the protests and that the Iranian leader ordered an end to the protests in any way. According to the Iranian agency, Ilna, the internet was cut off last Wednesday in several Iranian provinces before invitations were sent through social media to commemorate the victims on the occasion of the 40 days of protests. Like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter, so you don't miss a beat. Be sure to take advantage of the six days after Christmas sale today. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN for the additional discount on the already discounted price. Time is running out. The planner will not be available after revaluation. Get involved on the ground floor or the carrot bar program and get some free gold under your belt along the way as you grow your own business. The links are in the description below. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now, the Denarian.